Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. Let's continue our discussion on Active Directory replication and let's see what we have say covered in our last video. So we started with the journey to Active Directory replication and we understood what is Active Directory replication, features of Active Directory replication model and properties of Active Directory replication. So in this session, let us talk about some basic terminologies and concepts used in Active Directory replication. So we'll understand what is Active Directory sites, inter-site replication, site link, knowledge consistency checker, intra-site replication, and connection objects. So let's get started. So let us understand the first concept or the terminology called as Active Directory Site. What is an Active Directory Site and why we require an Active Directory Site. So an Active Directory Site is a physical subnet that is connected using a high speed connection. A site is considered as a physical component of Active Directory. It comes under the physical components of Active Directory. And Active Directory sites are connected using site links. So we are going to see all say, these concepts in our labs as well. So we are going to configure say site links. We are going to configure sites in our labs. First, we'll understand the basic concepts so this is it all about so we have two sites over here london site and sydney site and they are connected using high speed internet or high speed high speed connection so these two sites are connected over the internet now the next question arises why we require sites or what are sites for so one of the reasons to say, create an Active Directory site is to facilitate service localization. So this means to control logon and authentication traffic to domain controllers in a specific location or a site. So if you want to control, it will control the logon and authentication traffic to the domain controllers in a particular site. So we don't want a client, uh, say in New York office, to pick up a domain controller in London, Paris, or say anywhere else, to send its logon or authentication request. So we want all the London clients to, say, connect or to send their logon and authentication request to all the domain controllers in London. Okay, so that's the reason. This is one of the reasons we create Active Directory sites. And the client side domain controller locator process will find a domain controller in its own site by using its own IP address. So this is how a client will find an, a domain controller in its own site. And the second reason to create an Active Directory site is to manage domain controller replication traffic. This means to control the, the say the con, uh, domain controller replication traffic across the internet between the bridgeheads. So we'll see what the bridgehead servers in our upcoming session. So again, the advantage of creating a site is by default, replication between sites are compressed down to fifteen percent to the total traffic. So if we are replicating say active directory bit say data between the sites the data will be compressed down to 15 percent and again with sites we can control the frequency of replication so uh, we can say that okay uh, don't replicate between 10 a.m in the morning and say 2 p.m in the afternoon because these are the peak hours so internet is used uh, say on a higher basis over here 
So, we can control the replication traffic between two sites if we create sites. So, next topic would be inter-site replication. So, what exactly is inter-site replication? So, inter-site replication refers to replication between different active directory sites. So, by default, replication between sites are compressed down to 15 percent. So, this is what inter-site replication is all about. So, we have two sites, Sydney site and London site and active directory replication say between these sites is called as inter-site replication. So, let us understand what are site links. So, site links are active directory objects that represents logical path that the knowledge consistency checker uses to establish connection for active directory replication. So, just the logical path. Okay. So, it's first of all, it's an object. So, as you know that everything in active directory is an object. So, just an object which we create so that the replication will happen over that particular path. So, the knowledge consistency checker KCC we will discuss KCC on in our upcoming upcoming slides. So, we have to direct KCC to uh, say uh, create a logical path between the active directory sites. So, for example, we have L London site over here and we have Paris site and the replication between these two sites is happening over the internet and these are the site links which we create which we configure as system administrator and the knowledge consistency checker will replicate data using these site links now what is knowledge consistency checker all about again knowledge consistency checker is a built-in process that runs on every domain controller it's a process which runs on every domain controller and the main function of knowledge consistency checker is to generate replication topology for the entire active directory forest. Now, KCC generates connection objects within site so that replication happens between the domain controllers in the same site and between different sites in the active directory infrastructure. So, this is called as intra-site replication and inter-site replication. So, KCC will generate connection objects. So, let us see what connection objects are. So, intra-site replication. So, what is intra-site replication? So, intra-site replication refers to replication between the domain controllers in the same site. Inter-site means two different sites, but intra-site means replication between the domain controllers in the same site. So, intra-site replication does not say compress the data. The data is or the replication happens on immediate basis. So, we have a Paris site over here and this is how infra say intra-site replication works. So, we have four domain controllers DC 1, 2, 3, 4. So, any change happening on let us say DC 2 will be immediately replicated to DC 1, 3 and 4 and so on and so forth. So, this replication is on immediate basis and there is no compression between the say domain uh, of the data between us in our intra-site replication. Now, let us see what connection objects are. So, it is an active directory object that serves a replication connection between a source and the destination domain controller within a site. So, connection objects are again 
yes active directory objects which will say establish a connection between the source and the destination domain controller within an active directory site okay so the connection objects determines which domain controller replicates with which other domain controller okay so and the schedule as well so uh, this connection objects will define active directory replication partners in our intra site replication so it's somewhat like this let's say we have three domain controllers dc1 2 and 3 so these are the connection objects which are in say red dots and replication topology is say in green color so in in this picture or in this example every domain controller has two connection objects see dc1 is connected to dc2 and the dc3 that's the reason it will have two connection objects dc2 is connected to dc3 and dc1 so it will have two connection objects and dc3 is connected to dc1 and dc2 so it will have two connection objects now the knowledge consistency checker generates these connection objects and defines the active directory replication topology so we as systems administrators we don't do say anything over here the knowledge consistency checker will automatically say generate connection objects and define the intra site replication topology so let us walk through the summary of today's session today we started with terminologies and concepts in active directory replication so we understood what is active directory site inter site replication site link knowledge consistency checker intra site replication and connection object hope you have enjoyed today's session and in our next session we are going to continue with our active directory terminologies and concepts and in our next session we'll be dealing with site link bridge subnet bridge head server and inter site topology generator or istg So thanks for joining today's session and if you think this channel is helping you to learn anything new please subscribe and share this channel with your technical community and let's see you in the next session take care